solve cos x minus x into cos y into dy minus sin y plus y into sin x dx is equal to 0. See, solution, first of all write down the given differential equation that is cos x minus x cos y into dy minus sin y plus y sin x into dx is equal to 0. Now compare with exact differential equation exact differential equation form is that is m x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0. See m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dx is equal to 0. See here always x derivative is x derivative coefficient is m. Here x derivative coefficient is this value so compare these two m is equal to here we have negative negative of x d dx x derivative value is sin y plus y sin x sin y plus y sin x and y derivative coefficient is n here y derivative coefficient is cos x minus x cos y so n is equal to cos x minus x cos y see here from these two we need to find del m by del y and del n by del x so here m is equal to negative of sin y plus y sin x and n is equal to cos x minus x cos y so here m value is equal to negative sin y minus into minus sorry minus into plus minus y sin x here partially differentiate with respect to here is y on both sides that is equal to so del m by del y some people may pronounce it this is dou m by dou y is equal to dou by dou y of minus sin y minus y sin see here minus y sin x how you split the partial differentiation that is equal to dou by dou y of a negative value is so negative dou by dou y of sin y negative dou by dou y of second value is y into sin x that is equal to this is equal to dou m by dou y is equal to negative dou by dou y of sin y is cos y negative see here derivative is y and variable is x see this is partial differentiation so sin x is constant so take it outside sin x into dou by dou y of remaining value is y that is equal to del m by del y or dou m by dou y is equal to negative cos y minus sin x del by del y of y value is 1 so this is negative cos y minus negative sin x since del by del y of sin y is equal to cos y as it is del by del y of y value is equal to 1 so as it is here 
we need to find del n by del x so partially differentiate n value n value with respect to x on both sides so first of all write down n value n value is n is equal to n value is cos x minus x cos y cos x minus x cos y here partially differentiate with respect to x on both sides that is equal to del n by del x is equal to LHS side is over now apply RHS side del by del x of cos x minus x cos y that is equal to del n by del x is equal to split the partial differentiation first one and second one that is equal to del by del x of cos x minus <laughs> del by del x of x into cos y that is equal to del n by del x is equal to del by del x of cos x is negative sin x minus here derivative is x and variable is y see this derivative is partial partial derivative so this is x here is y so we can treat this y as constant so take it outside cos y into del by del x into x that is equal to del n by del x is equal to negative sin x minus negative cos x del by del x of x value is 1 since del by del x of cos x value is negative sin x as it is del by del x of x value is 1 so this is del n by del x value and this is del m by del y value so let's see here del m by del y value is negative cos y minus negative sin x therefore del m by del y is equal to del n by del x c del m y del y value is negative cos y minus negative sin x which is equal to del n by del x value is also negative sin x minus negative cos x both side are equal so this is called exact differential equation so now now the formula is integral of m dx here y is equal to constant plus integral of n dy here term x is not containing x term not containing x or not containing x terms is equal to see this is the formula here del m by del y is equal to del n by del x is both are equal so this is exact differential equation now the formula is integral of m dx here we can treat y as constant plus integral of n dy here x term not containing x term is equal to 0 see integral m dx m value is see from from here m value is negative sine y plus y sine x first of all write down here m value m is equal to negative sine y plus y sine x this is the m value the next n value n is equal to n value is cos x minus x cos y 
cos x minus x cos y. Substitute in the formula. See, observe the formula here. Formula is integral of m dx. Integral of m dx. M value. Here, we can treat y as constant. So, directly you can write minus sin y plus y sin x whole into dx plus integral of n dy here we can con not containing x term here if you observe this is the x term this is also x term so this total is 0 dx is equal to sorry dy is equal to c that is equal to minus is common integral of sin y plus y sin x into dx plus is equal to 0 because integral of 0 is 0 so this is equal to c the next that is equal to minus c here in m y is constant so this is the constant so take it outside negative sin y constant integral of 1 dx plus c minus into plus minus integral of here also y y we can treat constant so taking common integral of sin x dx is equal to c that is equal to negative sin y into integral of 1 dx is x negative y into integral of sin x dx is negative cos x is equal to c that is equal to c this is negative x into sin y minus into minus plus y cos x is equal to c see we can rewrite this as y cos x minus x sin y is equal to 0 is the solution of the given question see let's see the question once again the question is solve cos x minus x cos y dy minus sin y plus y sin x dx is equal to 0 so first of all write down the given question as it is now compare with the exact differential equation form is m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 see here always x derivative coefficient is m if we compare these two here x derivative value is negative of sin y plus y sin x so this is the m value as it is y derivative value coefficient always n here y derivative coefficient is cos x minus cos y so cos x minus cos y now from from this we need to find del m by del y and del n by del x see here first of all write down the m value m value is multiply with the minus so minus minus partially differentiate with respect to y on both sides del m this is a left hand side del m by del y is equal to del by del y of negative sin y minus negative sin y into sin y split the partial differentiation negative of del by del y of sin y minus del by del y of y sin x see this is partial differentiation in partial differentiation derivative is y variable is x so we can treat another variable as absolutely constant so taking common sin x del by del y y here del by del y of sin y is cos y it has negative value therefore del by del m del m by del y is equal to negative cos y minus negative sin y since we know that del by del y of sin y is equal to cos y del by del y of y value is 1 the next second value second value is n is equal to cos x minus x cos y here also partially differentiate with respect to x on both sides del n by del x is equal to del by del x of cos x minus x cos y split the partial differentiation so del by del x of cos x is negative sin x minus here also partial derivative is x this is the y variable quite different so taking common cos y del by del x of x is 1 so del n by del y value is negative sin x minus cos y 
you know the del by del x of cos x is negative sin x del by del x of x value is 1 next so del m by del y is equal to del n by del x both are equal so this is called exact now formula is integral of m dx here we can treat y as constant plus integral of n dy here term not containing x values which is equal to 0 so let's see here m value this is m value observe the n value in n value we have x term x term but in the formula here not containing x term this contain x term so we can treat it is 0 the remaining is integral of m dx so split the uh, integral first one second one see the negative has both values so split the negative first one and second one also so we can write here negative that is equal to integral of here we can treat y as constant so negative sin y integral of 1 dy negative here y is constant so take it outside y into integral of sin x dx is equal to c so integral of x is so integral of 1 dx is x negative integral of sin x is minus cos x so now x in negative x into sin y minus into minus plus y into cos y. we can rewrite this as y cos x minus x into sin y is equal to cc 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 is same so this is the answer